Covering the world now, it's been more than two weeks since that magnitude 7.9 earthquake devastated parts of China and people are still being evacuated from their homes in some of these affected areas. Now the worry is over unstable dams that could flood and government officials say it could take up to three years to rebuild the infrastructure in the Sichuan province. And a group of engineers from the Sacramento area recently had a chance to survey the damage in China firsthand. Kit Miyamoto from Miyamoto International is joining us now with more on his experiences there. Thanks for coming in, Kit. Yeah. I, I've seen some of your pictures and they're absolutely remarkable. For people not familiar with your company, tell us a little bit about what you do and why you were there. Okay, the, uh, we're uh, structural engineers based here in Sacramento. We've got many offices on the West Coast. And uh, well, there's clients we have and they called us right after earthquake and basically asked to investigate their damage site. And also, the, uh, we want to we wanna study the earthquakes. And try to learn more about it. And I guess, do you, yeah. do you learn a lot more by seeing how things fall? Oh yeah, most you definitely. Do. I think it's really important to actually engineers to really see the uh, uh, damage to buildings, to really understand what happened to it and what worked and what didn't work and apply knowledge to many different places in the world. There's, there's so much devastation from some of these pictures that you've shared with us. What are, what are your big observations as an expert in this field? Well, there are a lot of dangerous buildings there, especially with schools and hospitals. You know, that's hardest hit. And uh, just one school, we, we, we went in, this about five-story concrete structure totally collapsed and killed about uh, 700 to 1,000 kids in one school and we saw many schools like that. And it's made of really dangerous elements, made of concrete plant pranks, sit on a just brick wall, you see. So if the shaking coming through, the brick wall fails, and mm -hmm. the concrete prank fails, and just building collapse. So how did you even get into some of these areas? Well, you know, it's our job. I'm a, I'm a structural engineer to really go into places like You've that. You've got to be resourceful, though, even just to get there, because everything I've been reading is that, you know, roads you can't pass. Yeah. Um, you know, you get thousands of people who don't know where to go. How did you guys get around and, and, and deal with all this? Well, the, uh, uh, we, we have clients, so the, you know, they want us to see the places, so you know, that, that they helped us. Mm -hmm. And also we got a lo uh, local partner you know, who actually uh, took us around. So having a local contact definitely helped. So when you guys show up at some of these sites, um, what was the reaction like from some of the people who lived in these villages? Well, um, two things. One is people are really upset because schools being collapsed. You know, many kids died in there. I'm talking about thousands of kids. Oh yeah, thousands, thousands, right? And uh, so, you know, first we just came up on van, just, they, they will gather around, and, um, you know, first they, they see us as government officials or something like that, right? Yeah. So they're really upset. You know, they come up and just yell at us some, sometimes. But, uh, you know, soon, soon as they, they figured out we're the foreign engineers to really survey the sites. And they really, most of the time, they're really glad to see us. Because they, they need some engineers to tell, hey, what happened to it? And try to explain, you know, some of the reasons behind it. Exactly. We live in an earthquake state. What's the big lesson for people who live in California? Well, many cities in California, we're not ready for that. There, you know, this is not only China's issue alone. I see the buildings like that. I saw in China, I see here. Same type, same type of dangerous constructions, and uh, they need to be fixed. All right, well, Kit, thank you very much. We'll share some of those pictures at kcra.com slash morning news a little later on this morning. Thanks very much. Thanks.